Hey guys, so what's going on? Welcome back to the channel Star Agent Starco Gaming here back with another Marvel Future Fighter video. Guys, today uh, we're gonna go with this beautiful fella into Shadowland and show that this little fella can actually be better than what most people think. Today we're gonna be declaring, if I'm not mistaken, is his Shadowland Stage 13 with pretty much full HP at the end of it. So this guy could definitely do, uh, I think, uh, past stage 20 with a proper build, the kind of build I have on him. And uh, obviously, I'm not recommended you to actually build this guy. I do not dab, but see if you have, you know, resource, resources to waste and uh, your roster is full and you have some fun. This is definitely a character you can have a lot of fun with. Personally, I enjoy playing him. I think his gameplay is awesome. Wish he's uh, actually had a uniform. His uh, King of Space uniform will actually be awesome. Marvel Future 5, we could have that because uh, it's just awesome in the comic. That will be awesome. But anyway, that is what we got with him in game. And we're going to show the build. We explain a little bit of how we play him in Shadow And then we're going to jump into the gameplay that was recorded to, during tonight's stream. Well, last night's stream as uh, we're publishing this video a little bit after I record it. So... Let's go with the build. You can see rank 48. We have this guy as level 70. Yes, I am an Auckland lover, so I put this guy at level 70, obviously. So here we have uh, the build. Max cooldown, maxing or defense, 149%. Critical damage, critical A, 28%. Dex speed, 119%. And 18,000 physical attack, which is not the focus on this guy. This guy, you want to improve his survivability. So you can see his HP is almost 50,000. His recovery rate is 193.75%. This is what we're focusing on this guy because we want to keep him alive. We want to drop a CTP of refinement on him. Yes, it is useful on some characters, Shadowland. And he is the perfect example, guys. The, those eggs can actually be quite useful. So this is what we got on him. You can see max HP, 26.3%, 72% recovery rate, and then 20% uh, recovery on max HP when you drop below 50%. And guards against uh, six hits. And the 20% here, if you have 200% of uh, recovery rate, that means it's going to give about 40% HP, which is quite a lot of HP, to be honest. So this is literally... Uh, the best CTP for him if you want to play build him for Shadowland. Now, Izo set, we have Archive's Izo set, a few Awakened Izo, but nothing uh, that crazy. We want to give him a little bit more offensive, obviously, so he can perform a little bit better. Uh, you can see here we have all attack, critical rate, critical damage, 8.5% dodge, and cooldown, 8.1%, and 25% increase of all attack. Proc with the 20, uh, 58 second cooldown. Uh, we can look at enhancement type is rank 4. Like I said, I really love this character and I love to play this character's gameplay. It is awesome. And here we have gear at 22. All the gears at 22. We focus on physical attack, 2 per gear. Then we have ignore defense to max ignore defense. We have uh, a little bit of HP and a little bit of recovery rate. And those, you know, those double HP. Uh, Odin Blessing, that when you're PvE guys you don't really care about, actually go perfectly on the shell and like characters like him, or like Lizard, or like uh, Absorb Man. Those characters are actually perfect with the CTP of Refinement and a uh, HP build, by the way. And the skills, how do you actually play this guy? You want to use the third skill on cooldown. This is the best damaging ability. It does a lot of damage. And uh, it's a frontal attack. So everybody in front of you will get damaged by the skills. Second skills, iframe. frame. First skills, guard break. Fourth skill, jump in the air. iframe frame and stun uh, when you actually land. They're very useful. And the fifth skill, guard break too. So it's very strong. So basically, when you can get it, it's going to be like you're going to do your second skills. Then you're going to jump with your fourth skill to stun the target. You're going to chain with your fifth skill. And then you're going to go with your third skill for the damage. Now, if you have to fill, you're going to use your first skills. But most of the time, you're not going to use the first skill. So it's really uh, two, four, five, three. This kind of the rotation I'm actually using on this guy. So it's a very, very good rotation in my opinion. And I actually get the job done. And if we look at the other skills uh, here, like his leadership is all trash, but physical defense increase is actually quite nice in some floors. Uh, his passive 10% increase of physical attack, uh, a little bit useful. And his tier two passive here, 
Activation rate, 25% rate when it applied to self. Remove all debuff by 5 seconds and 100% chance to immunity to all damage for 2 seconds with a cooldown time of 20 seconds. So it's it's actually uh, quite useful leadership, to be honest. It uh, gives you a little bit more survivability, debuff removal and all that, which can actually be uh, very, very useful. But guys, if you have any question about how to build or play Auckland that I did not cover in this video, make sure to let me know in the comment section so I can get back to you. Uh, obviously, I know a lot of people are going to laugh about this video, but... It's a good thing to laugh about it uh, because that's not something you see every day. And that's definitely not something you want to see either because uh, it is a waste of resources to actually build this guy that I but had the resources uh, to do it. And uh, I wanted to have some fun with uh, one of my favorite characters in Marvel Future Fight. So uh, we'll build him up a little bit. So guys, next we're going to be jumping into the gameplay section. Again, the gameplay section was recorded during the uh, live stream uh of uh may 7 2020 by the way guys i stream monday through saturday 7 p.m pacific time on twitch.tv slash starco underscore gaming underscore the link is actually in the description down below make sure to follow me on twitch guys for amazing perks and also this is where uh, we always give away when we do have giveaway so anyway you guys enjoy the, uh, the gameplay section again if you have any question comments Drop them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and to drop a like on this video. So enjoy the gameplay, guys, and I will see you next time. Uh, that means either their request is full or their friendless is full. Oh, I might actually be able to do this. Actually doing pretty good right now. Not taking too much damage for the amount of healing we can get, so it's actually pretty good. Well, now we get double lightning damage here. That might be different. It's actually going good. I guess we can actually make a video about this one. Arkling clearing stage 30 gas with full HP at the end. And people say Arkling is trash, right? Well, there's the proof that Arkling is actually not trash. If you build them properly. <laughs> Uckling did it guys, Uckling did it.